Big weekend coming up for the program, FIU and FAU, as the Panthers look for win number seven. Coach, for all the adversity you guys faced in the first half and throughout the game against Old Dominion, when it came down to it, your team put themselves in a position to win, and that was an encouraging moving forward. Yeah, I tell you, it's one of the things I think that I really like about this football team is that they they absolutely love to compete. And uh, they realized we dug ourselves in a big hole, we put ourselves in a tough situation, but they fought to the very end, uh, scoring the touchdown, getting the onside kick, getting a chance to get a Hail Mary, and you never know. I mean, every time you turn on the TV, on the weekend, somebody does that, and it actually, you know, they actually end up succeeding and winning the game. But, uh, you know, uh, we've got to play better. Uh, than what we played in that ball game, and we've got to do all the things where we quit self-destructing, the penalties and the turnovers and those kinds of things. Uh, and we'll do that. We'll, we'll be okay. It seemed uh, in the hour or so I was here, practice a very spirited practice thus far. Do you feel the team has moved on quickly, yeah. next play, ready to go? Yeah, you know, A.J., one of the things we've, we've talked about from before the season ever started, that once a game is over with, win or lose, uh, you know, you've got about 12 to 14 to 20 hours after the game's over with, put it behind you, you know, resolve all the issues, fix the things, celebrate if you had a win, uh, and then totally focus on the next upcoming uh, opponent, and I think our kids are doing that. One of the things fans love to see throughout the course of a season is the progression and development of young guys, mm -hmm. freshmen, and one of those guys came through this past week in Shamar Thorne, had a touchdown grab. Yeah. He's been the target of a couple of throws the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. What have you seen out of him in practice? He said you're still learning how to utilize and learn from the young players, and, and, he, and he came through. Yeah, he really did, and uh, you know, we're trying to find roles for all these young kids on the football team, and obviously he's one of them, and, and every single week, a little bit like uh, – you know, like Devontae Price, the running back, and a little bit like uh, Bryce Singleton. I mean, they get a little bit more opportunities, a little bit more exposure. The more they learn, the more they feel comfortable. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, he runs really good routes. He's got excellent hands. He's got a terrific work ethic and practice. So we're very happy about his progress. So many supporters around the program really looking forward to this year's version of the Shula Bowl so much that college game day was being clamored for by fans around around both programs. But nevertheless, uh, this is going to be a fun one at a challenging game this week. They have an explosive offense for sure. They're outstanding. I mean, they're you know right now obviously they're leading the conference and uh, uh, they they they're explosive on offense. They get a lot of huge, gigantic, uh, big plays. Uh, wide receivers, running backs are outstanding. Quarterbacks having a terrific year. They've played several different guys, but uh, uh, you know they're playing you know really really well and, and one of the things is defensively they are they're stingy they don't give up a lot of big plays and uh, uh, that's a good format hope to see a lot of Panther fans up Boca Raton this Saturday night Thanks.